Hey guys, this is Jamar Dawson from Remnant Outdoors. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I just got my hands on a brand new Taurus 709 PT Slim 9mm Concealed and Carry Pistol. As you guys may recall, my previous Concealed and Carry gun was a Car Arm CW40 Chamberlain 40 Cal. It was a little bit bigger, a little bit more bulkier, less concealable had some mechanical issues. I really just wanted to go in a different direction. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the range. I'll give the specs and stuff while I'm there and we'll see how it handles. Really excited to get out there. All right, this is the brand new Tar 709 Slim. First time out of the box be shooting it. I loaded it up with five nine millimeter rounds. We're gonna see how it goes. So I took it out the box, cleaned it, have not fired it yet. Let's go in and see how it handles. You can see that if you look at the chamber ind indicator, that there's a round in the chamber, I think that's really cool and really good for safety. Let's see what happens. All right, five rounds, let's go. All right, so relatively accurate, as you can see, it's shooting a little bit low. That's perfectly fine. The cool thing about the sights, on the rear sights, you can adjust um, for elevation on this gun. So we're going to get that cleaned up a little bit and get back running. But this is it's pretty good out of the box. And uh, I know I could tighten these groups up a little bit more. Um, the recoil was extremely light, extremely light. I'm very happy with the performance of the gun so far. All right, this is about 10 yards out. Still with the Tour 709. Let's see how it handles. Five more rounds. Five more rounds, pretty good. Cycle, no problem. Um, I mean, this is a carry gun, so it's going to be a little bit smaller than your normal size uh, or full size battle pistol. But uh, overall, very controllable. Recoil is 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 so minimal. It almost reminds me of one of the 22s that I have. Uh, so, like I said, right out of the box, I can see that I'm shooting just a little bit low. Um, and the great thing about these sights, you could adjust them. So we'll just see. Uh, after some fine tuning, if we can improve even better. All right, guys, I am back at the range. This is a different day, still with this Tar 709 P2 Slim. Let's go ahead and start out at seven yards. The interesting thing about seven yards, and a good reason why everybody should try out their weapon and practice at seven yards, because that is the engagement distance uh, from all the analysis that people say uh, are the most likely you are to get into a uh, engagement with your conceal and carry weapon. And so 21 feet, seven yards, as you can see in the previous clip, uh, is relatively accurate with this weapon. Taking a step back to 10 yards, uh, you can still see my pattern is, is growing a little bit, but at the same time, it's relatively accurate. For those who were wondering, I was aiming at the center of, of the head, not the center of the target, uh, for those who were trying to be funny. With this test here, I am directly comparing my trusty CZ75 P01, which is, is not a full-size pistol, uh, but it is is very close to it. I actually compete with this pistol. Um, it has a three three point eight inch barrel compared to the Taurus 709 PT Slim, which has a three inch barrel. Now, for those of you who don't know, the longer your barrel, the more accurate inherently you have technically in your weapon because of the sight radius. The longer the sight radius. Uh, it helps you with accuracy because any deviations and variations between the front and rear sight when you're aiming and pulling the trigger, uh, it's going to be much greater with a shorter sight radius than with a longer one. Uh, so at the distance that we just shot at, as you can see, relatively comparable. I could have did a much better job with the CZ, you know, just being honest. Um, but it, still, it's relatively comparable at that distance. Now at 15 yards, let's see what happens. Same guns. And uh, shooting at the same places, top and bottom. Top for the CZ and then bottom for the Taurus. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos since it's still pretty warm out. Uh, I'm going to try to do a bunch more uh, going up to the, the homestead, the in-laws place. 
because they've kind of given me access, man. You know, they gave me the hand of their daughter, and I kind of inherit this land to do a lot of fun shooting videos for you guys. So if you guys have any suggestions, hit me up. If you want a, a video on the CZ, which is a great gun, NATO, um, NATO certified. Um, there's some, at least at some point, militaries use this as their sidearm. Uh, I believe this was in Europe, some of the smaller ones. Really great gun, really good gun. And to pass the NATO certification, you have to go through a lot of tests. So, as you could already see, as we get a little bit closer, uh, the CZ with the longer barrel is a little bit more accurate than the Taurus with the 3-inch barrel, but at the same time, we're still really close uh, to, to where we want to be. We're in center of mass. We're hitting the target, if that was a, a human target, uh, a human silhouette-sized target. We're still hitting that. And this target actually is smaller than an average uh, a human. It's just, just, I don't know why they printed them that small, maybe to save money. But yeah, just one more time. The bottom one was a Taurus, and the top target was with the CZ-75 P01. And for an engagement that you might, you know, encounter. And now for an yeah, no, that's my, uh, not so bad face. For something that you're going to encounter, maybe on the street, you know, a concealed carry situation, that is good enough for sure. And it's most likely won't be at 15 yards. Now, as you can see just then, I, I, a bullet popped out. I was trying to really put these in the magazine. And the first couple go in well, but like, it's really hard to put seven in this magazine. This is a single stack to, to really help with the width or thickness of the gun to make it slim, quote unquote. Uh, and I'm not a huge fan of single stack, but really, like I said before, conceal and carry uh, type weapon, you don't really need a bunch of shots. It should be over. The conflict should be over statistically in three shots. All right, so once again, you could feel uh, that little protrusion uh, when there's a round in the chamber and let's just take some first person shots I'm shooting at the bottom target if I remember correctly so the recoil is manageable nothing too crazy uh, the grip is is interesting it feels almost like a Glock you know that hard plastic feel and so I might add some type of uh, grip supplement to mine um, some people might add a hog if those are available um, some type of molded or rubber now, don't ask me why I'm doing this. I had three bullets left, uh, and I was like, let me just let me just do something silly, and I just was shooting on the move. Um, I guess you could say that's a simulation of moving. I don't know why you'd want to do that. You want to get cover, shoot if you have to, and then you know retreat and get to a safe location. I'm not a concealed and carry instructor, so do not take my word as bond uh, or try to use it in a court of law. Now this, I was just being silly. Um, I was kind of running out of things to do. Uh, and I That's figured, funny. well, why not do well? It was kind of funny. Thank God I didn't blow my hand off. Jesus There's a lot to like about the Taurus 709 PT Slim. It has a more concealable profile when compared to other carry weapons in its class. Uh, while maintaining a decent round capacity at 7 plus 1 as compared and contrasted it to the Car Arm CW40. For example, when it comes to disassembly, it's very similar to a Glock, meaning complete breakdown takes just under a minute to complete. Just pull the tabs, press the trigger, and the slide comes right off. There are a few things I don't like about the PT Slim, however. To cut costs, Taurus ships the gun with only one magazine, and it'll cost you about $30 for an extra one. It's not a huge deal, but something to consider. It's always good to have more than one. They say two is one and one is none. Additionally, the gun is a little too small for all three of my fingers to comfortably fit on the handle of the weapon. While I experienced only slight reductions in accuracy, it was a little uncomfortable when shooting, but really not that big of a deal. Like I said, it didn't affect accuracy that much. Also, my wife had a tough time racking the slide on her own. The serrations on the slide aren't deep enough, and the slide spring is pretty stiff, and that could just be because the gun's brand new, uh, but it makes it harder for women to chamber around but this is a problem common to all pistols, not just this Taurus PT Slim. Overall, the PT Slim is a solid platform that gets my recommendation as a concealed and carry weapon, truck gun, or even a home defense weapon in a pinch. It's affordable price, concealability, accuracy at standard engagement ranges, and simplicity make it hard to beat. It packs more of a punch than a 22 and a 380. It has better round capacity than a single stack 40 cal, it features multiple layers of safety. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video review. This is Jamar Dawson for Remnant Outdoors. Stay safe. Stay blessed. See you next time.